Hey everyone, just wanted to do this quick video to show you how you can add a custom form to your Go High Level calendar. So let's say you are using Go High Level calendar, you're booking people in by sending them to the calendar page, they're selecting a date and time, entering the details, and that's it, they're booked in, they receive confirmation emails, SMS, reminders, stuff from you through a workflow. You have that set up. But what if you want to add some custom questions? That's pretty simple. First of all, we need to go to the calendars under settings. And again, I'm in sub account like most of the times. This is my calendar. So let's say I want to see what's happening here right now. I'll go to the booking page and I will select a date and time. And then this is the default form. It asks me for name, email, phone number and any additional information. But I want to change it. I want to add more stuff to it. So how do I do that? I'll go back. I'll go under sites, go to forms and then add a new form. Let's say I'll call it book an appointment calendar form, something that helps me understand what this form is doing later. So once it's loaded, we will just create the form, calendar form, this is the name of it. And then let's get rid of these TNCs. I'll just quickly add a TNC just to be a 2P compliant, remove these as well. First name, last name, email, phone number, we already have that, but we want to add a few more fields to it. Like what's your age, what's your gender or something. Let's say I want to add a certain radio option. What's your fitness goal? Assuming this is a book calendar for a personal trainer. So people book in with the personal trainer. That's why the personal trainer is asking these questions that will help the trainer on the consultation call. So I'll say lose weight, enter competition, they fit, other. So that's a custom field I added. And then I also add other fields. So from the left, just literally drag and drop the fields and can add anything you want. You can add select drop downs. You can add check boxes where people can select multiple options. Radio is obviously just one option. You can select multi-line, single line and all that stuff. Now, what I'm going to do is let's add another field called how much time do you want to invest in your fitness? Let's say that's another question. Once it's added, I will go ahead and save it. Once it's saved, once you have created the form, what you can do is you can go back to settings, calendars, edit the calendar, go under forms and payment. And then here, they will ask you, do you want to add a custom form to it? Here, so select form. I'll just go and select the calendar form. Literally, that's it. Once you do that, it will now populate the form here. So let's refresh the same form, same calendar. Now, once I select the date and time, it will give me my form that I created with my name, email, phone number, obviously, and a couple of custom questions that I created. So based on your business, the questions will change, but the process is literally the same. So once you do that, just once you create the form, add it here, and that's pretty much what you need to do in order to add the custom form to your calendar. So hope this video was useful. I'll see you in the next one.